Now to a News for Jack's I-Team investigation. Is it a deadly defect? A Florida mom says it is, and she's one of many behind a push to protect all drivers on the road after her daughter was killed in a crash with a semi-truck. 25-year-old Roya Sadi, she was killed. Well, the car she was riding in went under an 18-wheeler, and numbers show this happens hundreds of times a year. Just two days ago, we had this. Jacksonville Fire and Rescue says a car collided with a semi and the car went under the trailer on I-95 near Church Street, north of the I-10 exit. Florida's U.S. Senator Marco Rubio has gotten behind the effort to require tractor trailers have an added safety feature like this one on top here. Do you see that? To stop the cars from sliding underneath them like you see this car doing on the bottom. I-Team investigator Vic Michelucci spent months digging deeper into the threat and the effort to require a potentially life-saving guard on all semi-trucks. Roya Sadi had so much ahead of her, a talented pianist, a bright smile, and about to get married. But the day before Thanksgiving in 2004, she was taken away in an instant. It was a phone call. I was with my younger daughter, and um, it was the emergency room doctor uh, wanting to talk to me. And he said that my daughter was in a crash and, um, and that she didn't make it to the hospital. Mother Lois Durso lives with the pain every day. Roya and her fiance were in a crash, their car skidding under the side of a semi truck. I think about where she would be, what she'd be doing. I think about the children that she never had. I think about the life that she ha would have had, and it breaks my heart. There's nothing worse than losing your child. Now spreading the word about what she calls a deadly defect, pushing for a law to make highways safer. I just think that anyone that uses our roadways should be concerned. It's called a side underride crash. Tests from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety show how easy it is for a car to slide under the side of a semi and how hard it can be to survive the impact. While the crashes are hard to track because there's no universal way for law enforcement to report them, researchers with the IIHS tell us since 2010, more than 300 people have died each year in crashes involving underrides in the side of a trailer. If you look at 2018, there were 280 fatalities. And if you include all underrides, including front and rear, that's 600 deaths. It claimed another life on May 1st on Jacksonville's north side. Sky 4 showing the scene. A car going under the truck. The 73-year-old driver inside died. Despite this, there is no law requiring guards on the side of tractor trailers. You see an issue that can somewhat easily be solved. Yeah, the issue that I see that can easily be solved is that these trucks and trailers should have underride protection. In fact, it should be 360. Andy Young is an attorney for the law firm for truck safety. He's been working with Durso and other families who've lost loved ones for years. He's testified on Capitol Hill about the dangers and the possible solutions. It's something that has to be done. And that just it's a no brainer. I wish Congress could get along so that this thing can move forward and we can actually get this accomplished so that we're all on the roadways with these guards underneath these trailers. Florida Senator Marco Rubio and New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand co-sponsored the Stop Underrides Act. It would require side guards and enhanced front and rear protection on semis. Rear guards are already mandatory in the U.S., but studies have found many are weak and they buckle or break away on impact. Legislators first introduced this in 2017, and still, three years later, it's not a law. The industry has argued side guards are expensive to install and they add weight to a truck, costing more in fuel. The equipment that was shown in the video is at 35 miles an hour. It's my understanding it's not effective beyond 35 miles an hour. For example, one of the products on the road already, the Angel Wing, weighs about 650 pounds and it costs around $3,000 for a 53-foot trailer. There is no real good excuse that the Truck Trailer Manufacturers Association has for not putting these guards on. They need to educate the trucking industry about these guards, how these guards can save their lives. In fact, I submit to you that every trailer on the road is a defective product 
product because it doesn't have one of these guards on it right now. The Manufacturing Association, which oversees the companies that make trailers, did not respond to our requests for comment. Lois Durso and her supporters believe trucks will not get safer until our lawmakers make it mandatory. Something truckers we spoke to say they'd be willing to get behind. Would you support a law requiring every truck driver to have a protector under their vehicle? Yes, I support the law. I agree. Would you make that investment? I would. To save lives, you'd spend a couple thousand dollars yeah. on it? Because usually an accident like that, there is no coming back from it. You know? For this grieving mother, it's simple. She'll keep pushing until this becomes a law. Probably the most painful moment in my life. And I would never want to see anyone else go through it. There is no word on when Congress will take up this issue once again. That's why Durso and other advocates are asking people to call their lawmakers, send them a message that you want underride protection all across the country. They are also urging people to reach out to these tractor trailer manufacturing and industry executives, begging them to make a change to save lives. I'm Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, The Local Station.